Hey, good day everybody, it's Matt here from Matt Carve. So today we're going to carve a Viking. And this piece of wood is Macrocarpa. It's a softish wood, uh, a little bit harder than basswood. And the dimensions of it is 2.8 inches across by 2.8 inches. And the height is 5.3 inches. So I'm just drawing on the uh, helmet of the Viking. Now I made the helmet sort of like a little bit above halfway, not too much though, and I'm just using the bandsaw to get rid of some bulk of the helmet and then I will use a cutsaw bit to get sort of smooth it out. Now you can shape the helmet with the Cutsaw Flame Burr, but you can also shape it with this burr, which is a little bit better at carving convexes, just because it has a more flatter surface and it's you're not sort of fighting against the curve on the Cutsaw Flame Burr. Now I'm just putting in the sort of sharp lines of the helmet. So that'll be the forehead there, and then these sort of like details on the helmet itself. These burrs are really nice for sort of putting in those real sharp right angle lines. This is a Dremel cutter burr. They are a little bit more expensive, but I think they last a lot longer. So um, that's why I kind of tend to use those. Now I'm going to put in a triangle nose, but I kind of like uh, kind of stuffed up with that drawing because you do not want to have the point of the triangle where the eyes kind of go. So make sure you leave enough room there for the bridge of the nose and I'm also just penciling it in the mustache um, it's pretty going to be pretty easy this kind of carving the nose is super simple it's virtually kind of got no sort of nostrils or anything like that it's kind of like a triangle that's kind of just rounded off so I'm just mark marking out the bottom of the nose so we're putting in a deep kind of cut there but don't go too far back because we still got to have the mustache in there and just using the Cutsaw Flame Burr I'm putting in the sides of the noses there and the top bit there will be also the corner of the eye. You can sort of see me I am sort of like drawing in where the eye is going to go there. You can go straight across if you want. Um, this is kind of like where you're going to put expressions but I kind of think this Viking carving he kind of needs to have straight across eyebrows because he's kind of like a little bit angry looking and I'm just using that uh, sphere burr that is the extreme sphere burr just to sort of like start rounding off the nose and when it comes to cheeks this is going to be a super simple cheek we're just going down at a little bit of an angle from that part of the nose and then go up so do that on the other side as well so if I'm just trying to work out there so you can't quite see it but you sort of see there I've just put in sort of like two angles there they will form the cheeks of the Viking and then what I'm doing here is I'm sort of like forming the nose but also sort of the area where the eye is going to be as well So it's sort of just taking the wood back, but don't sort of take it back all the way to that line. What you want to do is you want to put in an, a sort of like a, a valley where that line is. And you will see that will start to form the cheek there. And we're just starting here to form the eye. We're kind of using shadows to form the eye on this Viking. We're not doing any pupils or anything like that. We're doing a few simple lines and cutting it in in a few certain places. I will go into more detail a little bit later on on that. But I'm just sort of putting in um, the moustache there, the line for that. What I tend to do with these carvings is I'll try and get everything kind of up to a certain level and then I will go back and I will start putting in details and sometimes I might use the cutter burr in place of a cutsaw 
But there's no real reason for that. I just had it in the Dremel, so I'm using that to form the underside of the moustache. It's looking pretty good. And we want to add some sort of like shape to that little bit of kind of, it's going to be hair coming out of the cheek there. And I'm going to make those little things that are coming out of the sort of the helmet, just little flaps of leather. And we're going in and we're just sort of doing in a few more little details here. And I've got the cuts all fine taper burr there. So you can sort of really see the eye there. There isn't much to it really. Now we're going to form a deep part in their eye now. And I'm just using that bit there. But you could also use a diamond bit. Uh, it's looking pretty good there. If I could get it in camera. So pretty much that's kind of it. You can sort of like, I'll tidy it up a little bit and explain a little bit more a little bit later on. But um, pretty much that's it. And just putting a few bags in. And those bags can actually sometimes look like the lower eyelid. Okay, so what you want to do when it comes to carving the eyes is you want to kind of have a deep area going in there. And that needs to be flat. Now you can see here that the eye is not really an eye, it's just a matter of sort of like creases there. So the shadow kind of acts as the eye there, as we can see right there. What you do with the eye is you just tend to go down like that. Let's go in a little bit further. You want to put in a crease there. And then you can put in these bags under the eye by just going a little bit under and then forming those bags like that. You can form a couple of them. That looks pretty cool. So it almost looks a little bit like um, eyelids as well, but there's no eye there. Might want to take that up. We can make it look like a bit more of an eyelid if we take that bit up at the top. In. And you can sort of see how that eye there is quite deep. You can use a little burr like this, like a little pointy diamond burr, and just push it in and go across and kind of taper it out too. So you're really not trying to form an eye, you're trying to form a shadow that looks like an eye. And you can sort of see here, it goes down into a crease there, and it goes around here. I don't like the crease, so we'll just change that. I think that looks much nicer. Kind of nice angles on the Viking. Okay, so I just wanted to point out a few things on this nose. Um, as you can see, I kind of got a little bit wrong when I was drawing it on before. I kind of drew it on like a triangle, which it is kind of, but the triangle point would be up there if it was anywhere. You do not want to start your carving by having a triangle there. You kind of need a gap at the top, and that's the bridge of the nose, so just be aware of that. And I just want to point out, it sort of like goes back like that. And it's nice to put in a little bit of a crease back here. And yeah, there's not really much happening there. I'm just sort of showing you the outlines of it. I want to go kind of deep in there into the eye. But that's the nose. It's kind of just rounded off. There's no sort of like nasal nears or anything like that. Being a Viking, it's going to be like a brutal nose. And that's looking cool. Now when it comes to beards, I usually go in with a cutter burr, that one from Dremel, and that gives a nice sort of V line there. But if you wanted to go deeper, even more than that, or a little bit more detailed, what I do is I will use uh, the diamond burrs, such as the bowl burrs and the T-shaped burrs.
Now these large T-shaped burrs are really really nice for putting deep undercuts under things such as that little leather thing that's coming out from the helmet and also putting in the beard hairs as I said before. What I like about them as well is you can sort of go in at different angles and so just change the angles on those beard hairs by going in one way and then the other way you kind of don't want kind of flat areas on top of the beard hairs you kind of want it to form a point and also I use uh, that t-shaped beard to sort of like define the mustache um, intersection between that and the hair and the uh, beard as well so you can sort of see those really deep cuts there under the moustache and between the moustache and the hair coming from that cheek. And you can use quite a big burr for doing the main hairs but when you start to get the close up kind of things going into that little V in the middle or up by the nose what you want to do is you want to change down in size and so you can get closer to the nose and all of that kind of thing um, and you get those real nice kind of like little hairs coming sort of just out from under the nose or um, out from the face as well and it's really nice to go over sort of like maybe those flat parts there and just put a little V in it that looks quite cool as well And if you're enjoying this video, if you could hit that like, that would be fabulous. Also, uh, I have linked all the products in the video, well the ones that can be linked in the description. Uh, they are affiliate links, and uh, that's pretty much it. You can leave a comment if you wanted. I always try and read them, and I always actually try and respond to them as well. Okay, well we'll see you in the next video. I've just got a little bit left here to do. I'm going to put this wax on the helmet just to give it sort of a little bit of a different look than the face. And there it is. Good job. Mini, sit.